Hello everyone, it's Mark with LEGO Builder and I'm going to share with you some new minifigures that I just picked up today at Toys R Us. It's the Batman series. Uh, I picked up seven of them randomly. I didn't do any feeling around to see what might be inside. In fact, I wasn't even sure uh, what the set included. I'd only seen the picture briefly, so I figured let me just go with seven see what we end up with. So here's an, a look. They're all unopened and uh, you'll be the first to see them. So here we go. Number one. Okay, this is very obvious. It is King Tut. And so he's got his body. He comes with a cape. Cape on, he's got his head. Right. Hopefully, you can see that a little. He's got his headpiece. His hands are flesh colored. His whole body is actually flesh colored, unlike the typical Lego yellow. He comes with a scepter. And he also comes with a snake. hand there. And that's number one. I'm going to put this right here so you can get a look at them. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, and of course it comes with the checklist so you can see who you've got. So there you go. That's King Tut, number one. All right, the second one is Ooh. this one looks like it is the it's the. Pink Ballerina kit, Batman. Comes with a lot of pieces, actually. This is the uh, tutu, I guess. What goes on there? And before we put his head on, we've got to give him his bat or his uh, wings and a head. The head has a little. To look at the head before I put the cowl on and then here is the cowl so when you put the cowl on he's got pink eyes that come through the eye pieces and here is his little magic wand and his base so there you go it's like ballerina Batman put that one there and another checklist Number three, this is all random, I just grabbed a handful out of the box at Toys R Us, I didn't feel anything around. Ooh. I think we know who this is, right? This is Dick Grayson with his shark repellent. So we've got his, he's got a smiley face. And his hair comes with the eyepiece on it that gives him the big eyes. So he doesn't have the big eyes without the glasses. He has them right there. It's part of a hair piece. And then, of course, this is shark repellent, referencing the famous movie of theirs. And if you look, it's real tough to see, but it has a shark, a Lego shark with a red circle and line through it, so no sharks. There you go, that's Dick Grayson with his shark repellent. And that's number three, we'll put him there. Okay, number four. Ooh, 
This is We know who this is, right? It's, uh, I guess, the pink Barbara Gordon version. And that's also needs a... So it's the pink Batgirl. I guess it's Barbara Gordon. <clears throat> and she comes with a nice cape here, too. Very pink. comes with two faces. One of them is a smiley face and the other one is just a very stern, I mean business face. And here's her hair. And she comes with a bat boomerang. And her skin tone is a little darker than your typical Lego human type of figure. There she is. Oops. Give her a base. And hopefully you can see her. We'll put her right there. So that's four. I don't want to jinx myself by saying no duplicates, but bound to happen. So. Ah. And this is Barbara Gordon, the police version of her. And she's got on white gloves, police uniform. She is just a single face. It's kind of a smiley face with her eyebrows pointed down. And she's got her hat. And of course we have two other accessories here, uh, which not sure what you would need. Okay, this one is the bat signal, which you put on there. I guess you put in her hand. And you also have the, uh, you also have a set of handcuffs. That. This best signal is not going to be easy to get in there, but there we go. I was trying to make her hold it, it actually needs to plug into her hand. Get that right. There we go. So there you go. She actually has a little badge on her arm, too. There as well. So there you go. She's got her bat signal. See that? Put her in the front there. Just move him a little bit there. All right. Moving on. This is number six of seven. Ooh. <coughs> and I actually don't remember what this one's name is. Uh, I'll put the graphic in as I'm posting the video, but. She looks like a bunny, and she has a smiley kind of face also, and the bunny hood, and comes with a Gatlin gun, and there you go. Get another look at that. All right, move King Tut a little bit so you can see. And the last one, and if it's not a duplicate, I'll be pretty happy with this set. So here you go. Up, oh, too much to ask for. We've got a duplicate King Tut. So out of seven, six of them are unique, and one of them is a duplicate King Tut. So. Put them together. Oops, that's my 
bicycle guy I just tipped over. And again, he comes with a scepter, which should be pretty easy to feel if you're feeling the packages. And he also comes with a snake. So, and there you go. So, there's the duplicate. I'm also going to show you one extra bonus piece that I picked up while I was there. I would missed this minifigure when, uh, when it came out in the original series, but they're actually selling it as a box now. And it's called, uh, I call it the classic chicken, but I guess he's called uh, the, I don't know what, what they call it. But it's the chicken man, and he comes in a chicken coop. And this box just pops open here with a little door in the front. Ooh, and there he is. He's already built. That's kind of a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. I thought that he would come with a couple of pieces and I'd have to uh, put them together. But no, he's built already. There you go. Let me see what's in the box because I'm assuming it's got to come with a stand. No, maybe not. Nope, that's it. He just comes in this paper packaging. It's a little box. But I guess if you want, you could display him. And he goes... Take off his hat. This is one of the first LEGO figures to not have the traditional arms on them. I remember that when he came out. So, he doesn't come with a base. Instead, he comes with a uh, little box here. There he is, and you can kind of close that over, I guess. And he's got his chicken coop. So thanks for stopping by. Once again, I'm Mark with Lego Builder, and I uh, hope you like seeing my uh, Batman minifigure set, seven random packages, and what we ended up with. Bye-bye.